anybody know who wrote the Psalms? No. I'll give you a clue. He was a king. Oh. Do you want to No. Um, King Leon? <laughs> can you? <laughs> Okay, well, let's think about this. Is Psalms in the Old Testament or the New Testament? I don't know. It's in the Old Testament. Oh, Old Testament. Yeah, before Jesus was born. Oh. So it wasn't Jesus. It was King David. Do you remember King David? Oh, that's like Daddy. Yeah, that is like Daddy's name. King David wrote the Psalms. And here, he wrote this Psalm 139. Do you guys have, did you turn your listening ears on? Yes. Are they on? Don't turn them on too hard. Ow. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. Who are they saying is there? If I go, if I say, if I go to the heavens, you are there. Who is always with me? Jesus. Jesus, that's right, God. God is there. If I make my bed, bed in the depths, you are there. That means God is there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light becomes night all around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. So if you think about all that, that was a lot of words, wasn't it, Evie? And it was basic, what was it telling us? That no matter where we go, if we go up really high, like if we climb to the top of the Empire State Building, if we go really low, if we go down in caves, or if we're swimming in the ocean, who is always with us? God and Jesus. God and but Jesus. The, God. I have a question for you. Do you ever feel lonely? No. No, you I don't? Feel, I Does feel anybody lonely. else ever feel lonely? Yeah, I, I sometimes feel lonely. Yeah, you sometimes feel lonely. What does it feel like when you're alone? When, I, when you feel lonely and you're all alone, how does that feel? Sad or happy or sad. both. Do you feel kind of sad mm -hmm. when you're lonely? Mm -hmm. But guess what? Are we ever really alone? No, because what? Because who is always with us? God. God. Because God is always with us. All right, so how do we know that God is with us? That's a really tricky question. How do you think you know that God is with you? Because he died on the cross. Because he died on the cross. How do we know God is with us? How do we know that God loves us and is always with us? What are some things? Because he loves us so, 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 super much. Because he loves us so, so, super much. And God still exists. And God still exists. And how do we know God still exists? Right. Let's see. He's not a person. What happens every morning when we get up in the morning? I don't know. What happens in the sky? He talks to us when the nighttime is dark. Oh, he talks to us when the wind is coming. Do you feel like God is saying he loves you when you feel the wind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, God is kind of like the wind I where think, we can't see. I think he's talking to me right now. He is talking to you right now? What's he saying? Is he just reminding you that he's with you and he loves you? <sighs> so I was thinking, even when we feel lonely, does the sun still rise every day? Yeah. yeah. And give light to our world? Mm, yeah. How long? How long is this? How long? Is okay, this? Nathaniel. Okay. The sun still comes up every day, and do we still have rain that waters the earth and gives us food to eat? Yeah. Yeah. 
Are those all ways of God taking care of us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you have people in your life that when you're feeling sad or lonely, they show you the love of God? Does someone come and give you a hug or a kiss and make you feel loved and special? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And is that kind of a way of God telling us that, that we have people that love us and that uh -huh. He loves us? No, you made me forget. No. Oh, you had something else to add? Yeah. Right. When we, when we might feel lonely, well, okay, so here's another question. Can you show me your very maddest face? Oh, that's a very good mad face. I, Can someone show me a mad face? Oh, that's a pretty good mad face. Well, I only show, like, play mad faces because my, oh, okay. my, my real mad faces only come when I'm really mad. Okay, show me your play mad face. <laughs> oh, that's a very good mad face. Mad. What if you're feeling really mad? Does God still love you? Yeah. Is God still with you even when you're mad? Mm -hmm. What if, show me your most saddest face. Mm. It was a very sad face. Mm. Oh, it only comes to times when I'm sad. Yeah. When I feel my sad face. But now, but even I when you're really sad, is God still with you in those moments when you're really sad? Mm -hmm. Is he still loving, does he still love you? Mm -hmm. Now, what if you disobey and you do something you're not supposed to do? Can you find somewhere to hide so that God can't find you? Oh, no. No, he's still, he's still watching us. He's still watching you. Is he still there? Yes. And even if you do something you're not supposed to do, does God still love you? Yeah. Yeah. So can you ever, is there anywhere you can find in the whole world where you can hide from God? Are you when you hide in the bushes, is God still there? Yeah, he's still in your heart. He's still in your heart. That's exactly right. Whether you're in the bushes or you're in the basement or you're on a mountain, who is always with you? Even on a train. Even on a train. Even a super on speedy. A, a super speedy train. Now, now that we know that God is always with us and always loving us. What are some ways that we can let other people know that God loves them? How can we show God's love to other people? Hug them and kiss them. Hug them and kiss them? That's great. What are other ways we can let people know that God loves them? Um, tell them. Not sure. You can tell them. Julian, great idea. We get, if we see someone that's feeling sad or mad or lonely or worried, what can we remind them? God loves them. We could say God loves you. And guess what? So do I. When I tell you I love you, does that help you feel love? Yeah. Daddy loves me. And Daddy, Daddy loves you too. Even my folks That's right. Okay. All right, guys. We are going to end with a prayer. Can everybody close your eyes? We are going to say a prayer. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living that in joy and sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Right. Uh, and don't forget to tune in to our children homilies on Sunday morning and our books during the week on Wednesday night. Thank you so much.